Hello everyone, welcome back. This time I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how to build this patrol boat. Now, it's designed as a patrol boat for you and a few tribe members to take around the island. Yes, it can be used as a permanent base raft, it could be, um, but it's more so designed as a patrol boat. Now, if I show you real quickly, some of the basics inside. If you come up here, uh, you have this as a sniper slash lookout spot. Very nice, works very well actually with a sniper rifle or a long neck rifle or a spyglass for looking out. You could have a tribe member in each of these spots or at least one or two of them. And somebody obviously can be back here driving it. Also fully equipped with auto turrets. And of course you could outfit it with whatever, you know, fabricators and whatever things you want, vaults, whatever you want to put in here. You could put a full base in here and you still have room in here for an RG or two or a couple of PTs or whatever. So let's get right into the tutorial on how to build it. Okay, now the next thing you want to do is grab the rudder, go in your inventory and pull out a pillar. Now then you want to change your vision. So I have it double tapped or tap with two fingers on the left side. My screen puts me in this vision. So what you're going to do while you're holding the rudder still is this will help you center it up nice and straight. So as you can see, I like to bring it, you can center it right over that middle hole where the rudder was, but bring it all the way back centered just till you can't see it, almost till you can see it, right about there. And then place that, okay? and you could jump off the raft. And that should be nice and center. That should be close enough. Now you should be able to go in here and snap a foundation on each side of it. Yes, that will be just right. Okay, so once you have that pillar, now put your first foundation there. We're gonna do this in thatch because we're gonna destroy this. Now we're going to be uh, lowering this one at a time because we need to preserve one of the levels. So demolish that pillar and place another pillar in that one. Then demolish this floor and place another floor next to it. Now that's the level we're going to want to be preserving. So we can demolish this pillar. So we're going to make sure we keep that level, but keep we're going to keep going down. So I'm just going to bring this back one more like this to make it easy to drop these these levels. Place a pillar in that. Uh, destroy this floor and another thatch floor back here and we're going to go one more destroy this place a pillar in that and then this should be after we destroy this thatch floor Uh, this should be the level we want, so we can go uh, with metal. Obviously, don't go there. We're going to save that, but this this is the level we want. So we'll go here with this. Now you can go ahead and and get rid of this pillar, just like that. Okay, now this is the floor we want, but we don't want to put one there. We're going to leave that so we can get to the raft. So so you can put this level all the way around. Uh, except for this back spot right over the rudder. We're going to drop that one more just so we can get to the raft. And you can move this this one around as you need to or keep it on top um, because that we're going to preserve it. So as you need to just move it or uh, bring it back, whatever you need to do just to keep those two levels like that. And back here we're going to place a pillar there. Uh, and then we're just going to make sure we drop drop a foundation here, but we want it lower just so we can get to the raft. Uh, so you might be able to do it like this. There we go. Sometimes you got to jump off. You can also stand here, use your body to obstruct the higher snap point. So that works pretty good. Okay, now that'll protect the raft. Now we're done with this pillar. Okay, and then from here, what we're going to want to do is take some metal ceilings. We want to end up with a a three by six. So we have a three by three here, your normal three by three protecting a raft. Uh, we're going to go two 
two out on the front, which is as far as we can go, and then across like this, like that, and then we'll just go one row out in the back um, like like that. Now I'm going to keep it at keep it flush the higher snap point like that. Okay, good. So at this point, if you could see, we should have you should have a three by six with one preserved uh, floor somewhere on your floor right there. Okay, that can just be in thatch. Now, that's the basic outline. Now what we're going to do now is pull it out, make sure you're in deep enough water, obviously. It should be good here. And uh, what we're going to want to do at this point is you can go ahead and put your ramps down just so it's easy to get in uh, because you can't jump on it if you fall off now. So put a ramp, we're going to put a ramp there and a ramp there. I like two ramps. Okay, now. Okay, so next, what you're going to want to do is grab your walls and put a wall here on each side, uh, one back from the front, on the side right there, and go two, and we're going to go three. So you might have to move this, or if you get the right snap point, you can get it, but so I'm just going to go ahead and move it over here, make it a little easier. All right, so put three walls back now on each side. Leave one space, three walls back. We're going to leave two here in the back for a side door. So do that on both sides. Like that. Uh, and then uh, we could also do is put doors. You can put a door by each one of your ramps right there and right there. And then we're going to go up from there uh, three walls high total. So you can put two on top of those uh, just on the back uh, and that's going to be all for now. Okay, so now at this point what we're going to do is come up front here then and Grab a couple more doors. You're going to put a door right in the center, one back from the front. And right there is nice. And then one back behind that uh, as well. Should be right there. Okay. That's good. Now, then we're going to fill in this with our uh, triangle or our sloped walls whatever they're called. <laughs> now they're a little goofy, but you can get them in there if you just work with it for a minute. Like that. Like that. And then the same on this one. That. And like that. Now, and then you can go ahead and throw your uh, sloped roofs on there just like that nice and what we're going to do up here is we're going to come back two on each side uh, two ceilings from that straight back like that and over here and there and right there so then we're going to fill them with five thatched ceilings this middle and three across the back here. Make a T basically uh, with thatch ceiling. It's kind of our sca scaffolding. This is going to be temporary. So we're just going to place these in here. Nice. Just like that. Looking good. And then we're going to take our uh, sloped walls again. We're going to put one uh, on each side of this front thatch uh, sloping back. All right, like that. And one there as well. Okay, you have that. Then we're going to put a slope ceiling on that, a sloped roof.
like that. And then we're going to just fill, fill around the outside of these thatch ceilings with walls. So we could just go around these. Like that, and we don't need one here in the in the center. Right like that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the back here and I'm going to take our ceilings and we're going to put them at the very top uh, just across here for now three and bring this center one forwards uh, just two like that and we want to bring it down on this so two across like that then you could put a wall hanging down now, you want to put a ceiling in there, put a thatch wall there, and then you can hang a ceiling out from that, forwards, uh, in the front, right there. And then you can go and demolish this thatch wall. We don't need that. That was just to put the ceiling in. Okay, there we go. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, now, next thing we're going to do and this thatch ceiling right in the front, we don't need it here. We could destroy this. And we're going to put a ramp right here. Coming up onto that door. So we grab a ramp. Alright, just like that. And now we have our ramp. And then we can go ahead and destroy this. It's nice to use ramps as much as you can in rafts because uh, ladders, when you're moving, don't work. So yeah, ramps are nicer. I'm going to place a sloped ceiling, a sloped roof up to finish this ramp up. So I'm going to go from here up. I want to get up on top of this, so continue from that ramp right there up onto the top of this. And so what you do if you're having difficulty getting the right snap point is just put uh, a sloped wall behind it. It could even be thatch if you want. Uh, you could, because you have the two snap points. So put it, make sure it's the right direction. Set it there and then it should make it a lot easier getting your snap point in. And as you see, because it can then connect to that wall. So place that there, and then you can go ahead and remove that sloped wall. We don't need that there. That was, like I said, you could do that in thatch if you want, if you're having difficulty uh, putting that in there. Okay, and now come on up top of this. And then what we're gonna do here is uh, you're just going to put the same thing. You're going to put sloped your ceilings, your sloped metal roofs in here. Now they need to be sloped away from you. So right like that. Perfect. Beautiful. And the same over here. Okay. Now this is all but complete, the bottom deck. Uh, next thing we're going to do is go ahead and go down bottom again. And we're going to bring this wherever you had it. Bring it out. It's got to be out back here, so pick some foundations, bring this, uh, bring it out here, right there, one of the sides. And then what we're going to do is go up from that uh, with the thatch walls. One, two, make sure they're on that, and, and three. Now, as you can see, it will be higher than these walls. So good. So get that up there uh, and then go back up top. And now when you're up here, 
take another thatch ceiling or whatever it takes. You have to get it. Make sure you don't attach to this. You want to attach to that. It should be higher. And then when you get over your box here, you're gonna put you're gonna put four uh, four ceilings. Make this T again, and they can be metal because they're gonna be final final product. So you bring it with thatch until you get it to here, and you put your uh, four ceilings. Make sure they're attached, like I said, to that, not to anything else, only to that, from that floor we preserved. We're gonna bring it all the way up and I transfer it to all this. So this is your ceilings, and that's there nice. And then you can take um, your walls and hang them from the ceiling. Now make sure you don't have them on the bottom. You wanna hang them from the top like that. You can hang them from that all the way around, uh, all the way around this. Alrighty, there we go. And one more right there, okay. Now that's good, that's good. Now, this can be a door if you want. It doesn't matter when you do that. If you wanna have a door here, uh, that's fine. In fact, you could even just take it away. I usually just get rid of it. Because we don't need it. So, I just leave this open and, and that's that's fine. So I put that there by mistake. We don't need a wall there. Okay. So you could take these these back walls out across here now. Okay, so then at this point you can go ahead and destroy all of your thatch supporting structure. All these all of this can go then. We're done with all of it. Now your sniper tower, sniper tower is complete. So we could also go ahead and demolish these walls. We don't need them there uh, anymore. So they could have been thatched as well. Uh, the next thing we want to do is out the back here, uh, place a ceiling. Right like that. And then put two sloped walls on each side of it. Uh, like that. And then one on this side as well. And then you can go ahead and put uh, a sloped roof on that. And then finish walling up the back here. down from the ceiling. One and two, just like that. Very nice, very nice. So we're gonna go ahead and take our RG, however you wanna do it, and get up on top now. Now what we're gonna do here is actually take and get rid of this metal ceiling on the end. And we're gonna put Oops, the wrong one. We're gonna put our sloped, sloped walls. Put one there. And then, we're gonna also put one up here. Right there. And then we're gonna run our sloped ceilings out across there. Sloped roofs. We're just gonna go like that. And like, nope, not that. Well, you could do that, but we like it nice and clean. There we go, so put that like that. Okay, I like that. This is slightly off, but that's not a big deal. Okay, now what we're gonna do is then go ahead now that's it, and do the same thing on the other side. Starting in the back to make sure we have a nice tight seal. Okay. Now this little crack here, uh, it's not gonna hurt anything. You can, if you really wanna block it off, you can take and stick uh, metal fence foundations right there, stack two or three right there, and then I'll block it if you want to. I usually just leave it though, so. 
So then when you're up here, you're going to go ahead and take another metal ceiling and place it right out to the front here, like that. And then take a couple of giant metal hatch frames, put one on the side here, like that, on the front ceiling, and one the same over there on that side there. Now that's, that's pretty good. Now then, at this point, we can go ahead and get down, bring our RG and go back down. And then what you could do is go ahead, and I like to have a nice little deck out the back side. So, uh, put a couple of, uh, just right here, I usually just do two. Two out each side, two more ceilings out each side. A uh, nice little kind of a landing deck uh, as you're coming in. Then you can go ahead and pop your dinosaur gates in there. Right there. And right there. And at this point, you can go ahead then and put all your doors in everywhere. Dino gates, dino doors, and your regular doors. Then you can go on ahead out here and put a few more ramps. Uh, put a couple of ramps off the sides here, like that. And go to the other side and do the same thing. Just to make it a little nicer, like that. But also, I like to just throw down a hat trim over this, uh, just to give it a little more protection. And uh, simply put that there, uh, just so that your raft is safe, uh, just to kind of cover that, just keeps it sealed tighter. And you could, obviously you can still drive it through that, no problem. So then you can come out the front here and put a ladder Hang it down right off the front there. Make sure it's out all the way like that. And that way you can get over here and get up on the top very easily. Now once you're up here, you're going to come to the back and you're going to want to put some more uh, giant metal hatch frames off of the back. So, as you see, you can't put them there, but they go right like that. If you can see how that is like that. So over the door to the outside though, uh, right there. Now you gotta be kinda down here to do it. So you wanna get them, it's about the best you can get them. Not like that. Like that, right there. So as you can see, uh, off the back, hanging off the back a bit and you can get up on them definitely and out to the side nice and far. All right, so that'll be good. Those will be for placing our turrets. Now, next thing we're gonna do, that's done up here. Next thing we're gonna do is go back down, uh, go back inside. So the next thing we're going to do is make our spots for setting turrets underneath. Now, to do that, we're gonna need to destroy this sloped metal roof here. And we're going to uh, hang a pillar right there. So we're set a pillar right there. We're going to go outside here. Uh, you can then, at this point, put this sloped roof back. After you put that pillar, uh, you can put the sloped roof back over that just fine. Okay, then you can go into here and you could drop down one more. You can hang that one more pillar like that. Now you can't go down anymore, so you got to do, you have to take thatch and run your thatch down along here now. Uh, right down along here. Now you can kind of, you can go as low as you want. I'm going to go three, I'm probably going to go four. I want to have plenty of good clearance. So you go four walls down. And then you can take your ceiling, uh, hang it over like that, and you're gonna just run your metal pillars uh, back up from that ceiling and connect them right there and right there. This one needs to be metal. So you can put that metal to start with even. But once you do that, you're gonna wanna destroy all your thatch walls. Okay, now then, down here, 
Uh, we're gonna take and put once again giant hatch frames. We're gonna put them, so we can't put them here. I put them right like that. Okay, so that's how we're gonna put our, our metal hatch frames down here. Right there, and that will do that. Now that's pretty good. Right there, good. Now we're gonna go do a similar on the front. On the front, we're gonna go ahead and put, uh, put a pillar right here in the center, right there. And we're gonna go underneath, do the same thing really. Uh, put a second pillar right there. And then take our thatch walls and come down the same amount as we did before. Uh, just to keep things nice and even. You can't put one on the front because we're out to the max. But you go around right the side there and as soon as I find the snap point spot here, either side is fine. Right there. And we're down, we went down four, so we're going down four again. Right there. And then uh, this one can be metal, like we did before. Put your metal one there. And then you can go ahead and get your pillars and attach them up through and connect them. And then you can destroy all of these thatch walls and that will all stay. We're going to get two more of these giant metal hatch frames once again and place them on there in basically the same way we did the back. Right there and right there. Now we have our basic turret defense. Okay, then we can go back up inside. Now what you could do here, since you don't want this here, is you can go ahead and destroy this metal pillar then. And that will stay just fine. Like that, you can see, no problem, still stay. And you can do the same on the back uh, as well. So you can come right out here and look at this metal pillar and we can get rid of it just to make it look a little nicer. And once again, they stay just fine underneath. Nice. All right. So, so that is the basic structure. Now, uh, you could definitely extend these. I wouldn't recommend doing too much more. You're gonna start losing pieces and blocking your turret range. But that's not too bad right like this. So now all that's really left to do is wire it and put our defenses on. Uh, so for that, you can, you can do it how you want. I like to put the generator right up in the middle here, push it all the way to the front, right there as far as I can, nice and centered, and then flip it around, and that fits in there nicely. Nice and straight, right there, boom. And that works good. And then from there, we can run our wires. So from there we just place a cable back this way and a second, a third, and I like to put a box right there on the end. Okay, and then from there, and then we put a box, electric outlet box, uh, right here on the generator right there. And then that should reach all our bottom turrets now. So we can go ahead and place our turrets now. Now here on the front, uh, as you see, it might not let you place it. It's a little bit far because we went so far out. You just pull it back just a little bit on this side usually and right about there and it'll be fine. I'll let you place that there, turn that on. So put all of your turrets around how you like them, one on each corner, underneath. Mm -hmm. 
And up top, we'll put our turrets uh, pretty much the same uh, on every each corner, far out as you can get it. Uh, and they should be able to reach the outlets. If you did it like I did it, uh, they should be able to reach. You could put one there, right about there. Nice. And we can put two more turrets uh, wherever you want. That's kind of up to you, however you like to put your turrets after that. I, I prefer those on the corners. I really think they're good. Uh, however else you want to put them is kind of up to you. Uh, sometimes uh, I might just put one up here like this. I think is decent, but on each side, on top. But you can put them how you want, however you think uh, you like them. They could sit here, so I just usually do this. Now then in here you can put whatever kind of furniture you want, uh, whatever you like, beds, smithies, pretty much anything you want can go in here. Also, as you can see, uh, there are lots of pieces left to play with. So you have plenty of room to place things ever since that update uh, that made that you know the structure is more allowed so uh, if you wanted to run down the sides with something like this you know for for more uh, dino storage uh, you could certainly do that it does uh, block your turret turret coverage a bit but since you have turrets underneath and on top it's not too big of a deal because anything on top those turrets will get and anything underneath or anyone coming uh, so it's not too big of a deal so you can uh, put something like that for more dino storage out here. Uh, you could even run a little bit off the back. So you can do a good bit. Uh, really, uh, you know, something like that. Now, you, of course, you could do what you want. Now, also, uh, what you'll do if you're using this as more of a base, perhaps, uh, you can put, like, crops out here on this area right here. Of course, you can put them anywhere out here, but you can put them right in here. It's a pretty good spot for them in this corner. And uh, you can grow your crops there just fine. And same on this side over here. Uh, alternatively, you could put plant X right here. Maybe one plant X and then a crop here as well. So you have a lot of options with this, uh, really, with this raft. And uh, same thing on the top. You have more dino storage up top. You could keep some up here too, although it is going to, once again, uh, you don't want to block your turret coverage, but that wouldn't block it too much because they're way out there. So you keep some dinos up here, crops up here. You could put certainly put plant X up here. You could fill this whole thing with plant X if you wanted to, depending on how much or what you're using it for. So like I said, you got plenty of structures left. Uh, you could fill the inside how you want. And uh, so not too bad. And as you can see, obviously, uh, room for dinos in here as well. Uh, maybe not too many in here because they does fill up pretty quick, but certainly babies and things like that. Uh, hatchery, you could certainly do that in here. Maybe one or two of your, you know, a couple, two or three of your best, uh, you know, flyers, PTs, RGs, a couple things like that could certainly fit in here. And uh, yeah, and so that's how pretty much how it is, guys. And obviously, if you have tribe mates, or even yourself, you have a nice, uh, this is your uh, kind of your lookout tower up here, lookout slash sniper tower. So I'll just demonstrate real quick. If you take a sniper rifle and just like this, as you can see, very good for sniping. So uh, that's pretty much what it's for. And you can, that's why the slanted floor. So uh, you can go up and down as you need to. So if you need to aim something or crouch, if you crouch, you can aim way up clearly and you're just fine. Works very well for sniping, uh, whatever you want. So yeah, you can have a tribe member here or if you're solo, works just as well. Uh, or you have a tribe member, same thing. So not a bad all around boat. It's really one of my favorite designs, I think. I really enjoy building it and uh, it's pretty well. Now it's built like this also, so you still have pretty good vision uh, as you can see here and not bad vision. It's 
I mean, obviously not the best, but for what it is, it's not bad. You can definitely move this around and be just fine. Now make sure also what would help you is having your camera adjusted. Obviously, as you can see here, this is way worse. So if you adjust your camera properly, the proper uh, zoom out, you can have a pretty good range of view uh, from your camera here. So. so here's the final product, guys, as you can see. Now if you wanted, uh, obviously you can enclose this generator. You can cover these wires right here. Just put a couple floor uh, ceiling right here that would do it. Uh, you can fill it up however you want. Now this base could be, I mean this, uh, this boat could be like a permanent base. You could fill it with everything you really need in here to live on it. But it is designed as a patrol boat for, you know, for your tribe, maybe a larger tribe even. So designed for somebody to be dri riding it, driving it, and two or three of your tribe mates to be up here as you're going down around the coast. You could take it up and down the rivers. Uh, they can be sniping out here or looking out. You could be scouting from it, all that kind of thing, in the complete safety of a metal structure. And so that's what it's really designed for, a couple of tribe members here. And with the dino gates in the back, you could have a couple of RGs or whatever to fly out. If you find something or if you see something here, you can fly out and check it. Uh, so that's the design that's what it's made for this raft but like i said if you wanted you could definitely use it for uh you know for a permanent base if you want it would definitely work like that too and if you were going to use it like in the rivers let's say more you would not need these turrets under here you could you could have the structure down here for them but you could simply pull these turrets off these four and stick them on the top have more firepower up on top if you were going to do that so once again just a quick look around the outside of it just as i I'll leave you with this guys here it is my design of a patrol boat on arc mobile so i hope you enjoyed the video guys let me know what you think in the comments and uh, hopefully you like the build and hopefully you can try it and it works out for you i will see you next time